Så sätt lymsetting och det här lymsetting on second largest and make sure that the loops are equal size. Um, and then you just do a single crochet. So that's what it means in the pattern when it says so and so many loops each side connected with a single crochet. So it's very simple, you just do single crochet in the middle. And as you can see with this hair loom, I'm just basically flipping it over. And that's when you're flipping it over, that's when you're getting creating another loop. Because you take the yarn with you. I'm using quite chunky yarn here. And quite a small crochet, uh, a little bit smaller than what I probably should have used. And as you can see here, I've taken some of the work off the loom only because the yarn is really chunky and you need to put it kind of low on the loom because th those rods, they get closer and closer together and then your loops will have different size. So that's what I've done there. And then you re So you make 35 loops each side with single crochet in the middle and then you fold it up. So you loom the sides together as I'm doing here. And the outer lo uh, loops you leave unworked, but the inner loops, the ones that are folded towards, towards each other, as you folded it halfway, will be weaved into each other as you can see in this video. So the second loop goes into the first loop and then the second loop becomes the new first loop. And then you put the second loop into the first loop and you pull it up and it becomes the first loop. So the second one goes into the first one and then the second one becomes the first one as you can see here. And then you get a really cool weaving pattern actually that and you can make shapes. This is how you can shape your um, your uh, hairpin projects. And I'm just fast forwarding here because I'm basically just weaving. <laughs> And um, this, what you're making here is the sole and the, like the bottom of the slippers basically. And because you're using chunky yarn, it's gonna look like it's just one piece. This, you're not gonna even really recognize that it is hair pin. So it just looks like fabric almost when you finish, like it looks like a it looks like chunky yarn fabric or something like that. It's uh, it doesn't look like it's hairpin, that's for sure. And when you finished and you've done your last loop, and then you leave it, and then when you you're gonna weave in the outer loops, you can weave that in then. So it becomes the outer loop here, as you can see, I've kind of even woven it all the way so it becomes part of the outer loops. That we're now gonna crochet, but before we can crochet them, we need to make another uh, motif. So now I've done 45 loops each side. And I uh, did it a bit looser this time, so the rods didn't get so close together. I didn't crochet it so tightly so I could keep it all on the loom and uh, now I'm going to weave in one side and uh, leave the other side on work for now so you can see I put the second loop into the first loop all the way and uh, this is very therapeutic, by the way. <laughs> Once you do this, you kind of... It's very relaxing, that's for sure.
So now we're going to weave in the loops together and start at the heel end of your work and that's where um, basically it's uh, the end that is where you have where you're going to be creating the, the heel so it's not rounded like it is on the other side on the other side it's rounded and that's going to be the tip of the these slippers so you do this exactly the same thing when you weave in together you do the opposing sided the opposing sides I mean and you weave together the loops to weave across there because there is no loops there so what you're going to do instead you're just going to weave the remaining loops that you have on your motif and this is shaping going to shape the heel because you're going to move that across to the other side and you're actually going to stitch it together when you weave in all the loose ends um, <clears throat> here you are now you're finished and you're going to create heel by moving this across like that. So this loop, I'm just going to weave it into the loop that I've already, or the loops that I've woven in already, just to tighten it a little bit around there. And then I put a, some yarn into it to, to secure it. And I'm going to weave it in. So now I use a sewing needle. And you're just going to weave in all the loose ends basically. But now you're going to edge it. Once you finish weaving in the loose end, you're going to do the edging. So attach the yarn and do chain two. Yarn over, attach into a stitch, yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over and pull through the first two loops on the hook. Then yarn over again, pull through and pull through the two first. And then yarn over and pull through all the loops. And you do, you're going to make like a long stitch like that all the way around because that's going to tighten your work and actually make sure that it is going to be tight around your foot basically. So, so that's what I'm doing here. And just fast forwarding because you're going to do the same thing but when when you do it check your work to make sure that it doesn't get too tight I'm stretching it a little bit as I'm going because um, you can do that with this yarn so um, it is tightening it but I'm stretching it at the same time so it doesn't become too tight uh, because with this stitch depending also on what yarn you're choosing to use it can get too tight here I'm kind of stretching it to make sure it's it's gonna it's gonna be um be a nice shape around my foot without being too tight basically <laughs> 